Hey there, everyone, and welcome to Cold Waters. King Swat here, and uh, today we're going to be starting a 1984 Russian campaign. So, the last episode was the Los Angeles class, the USS Key West, and uh, we finally decided to go try that T LAM mission and ended up getting intercepted, detected and intercepted right outside of Murmansk, and got damaged by a helicopter. Lost our propulsion, couldn't really move, had two torpedoes dropped on us, and that was the end of that. So, did pretty well, over 400,000 tons sunk. So now we're going to actually play as a Russian boat. And we're not going to do the 1968 eras, even though I kind of want to. Like, these look cool. Just, like, literally has missile tubes welded onto the side of it, like the side of its conning tower. Um... Whiskey long band could contain four six boats received an extended sail that could contain four Shattuck missiles. They're called whiskey long bay. So yeah, uh, we're not going to do any of those 1960s era uh, diesel or nuclear stuff. But uh, we will go ahead and do some of these uh, 1984 ones. Not really going to do a uh, diesel electric. I don't think. Don't really want to die that much. Not really sure what these 2000 era ones are. Uh, Generation diesel electric, nah. Kilo class SS. Could do a kilo, 1984. Uh, latest most advanced diesel electric sub built. Is that a kilo? Nah, let's not do a kilo. Tried doing one as a November uh, earlier just to see how that was going to work, and it didn't really work. Um, died a, uh, died a pretty horrible death, actually. Uh, test depth, 1300 feet. Huh. Solution Victors. So, Victor 3 is an option. Whatever the hell a mic class is. Uh, they report a mic class, nuclear powered attack sub, so maybe. Uh, test step 3,750 feet. Holy sweet Jesus. <laughs> 1,000 meters, 3,350. Uh, the boat sank in 1989 and is currently resting on the floor of the Barren Sea. One mile deep with its nuclear reactor and two nuclear warheads still on board. Single Project 685 is developed to test technology for Soviet fourth generation. Uh, okay. Nuclear slabs will probably change its development model. Uh, it sank after fire broke out in the. Okay. As much as I'd like to. Probably not. Alpha. 42 knots. What's this guy's? 28 knots. And, uh, Highly automate it and fit it with advanced sonar weapons. Exotic liquid metal reactor. Propels these boats. Staggering 40 plus knots. Uh, it run most ASW trees. It makes the alpha extremely noisy. However, slower speeds, they are quiet and fit it with special creep motors. So I wonder if they ever got the creep motors activated. Uh, just in the mod, I mean. Uh, good old Sierra class. Love the love the paint. Uh, latest and most advanced. 1970 feet. Jesus. Faster and deeper dive in the US submarines. Features the same sensors and weapons as the Victor 3s. Much quieter hull. Huh. S and M, Ula 2, ooh, 1990s area, can't do that. I always, you know, like, growing up in the 80s, like, you know, Cold War and stuff, I always heard about the Akulas and all that. Like, oh, yeah, they sound cool. Uh, advanced sonar suite, eight torpedo tubes, wire guidance capability, and new tech. Akulas uh, first class for stretch, so that gets a serious threat to the West. I don't want to do something, like, cheaty, right? Charlie 2. No, I don't want any fucking Charlies or Oscars or anything like that. I want to actually be able to move. Let's go. What's the Papa? SSGN. Eh. Let's do the Sierra. What do you guys think? Uh. But, uh purchase and stolen Western technology. Yeah, I say we go do the Sierra. Let's do it. All right, to Commander King Swat. New command assignment. Effective immediately, you're hereby assigned to command of Sierra-class submarine Krasny Krim, KH-21. Congratulations and good luck on your new command. Oh, well, thank you, comrade. Oh, you evil man. So these are just the flavor 
uh, stories, you know, what will Reaganism mean for foreign relations? Russian legacy, stagnation and paranoia. Now, I should say, like, the Russian campaign right now is just from the playable Russian subs mod, which is available in subsim. It's not actually, like, you know, an official mod or, or official, mod, official campaign or anything like that. Um, Red's attack, war declared. So, uh, there's, you know, potentially still bugs. Like, even with the subs and stuff, there's potentially still quite a few bugs. All right. Mission orders. Tactical situation. Intelligence data indicates the enemy plans to reinforce its force at Trondheim. Convoy of supply ships is believed to be leaving uh, North Atlantic Convoy Route B soon. You must intercept and destroy this convoy before the landing of additional troops and materials occurs. NavOps deploying or er, depending on you. No other ships or planes are in position to intercept the enemy. Locate and sink enemy freighters and resupply ships. Okay. And Trondheim. We'll have a look at our uh, gear. UGST. Interesting. Oh, wow, we got 40, 40 slots. What else do we got here? What the hell are these? Taking up all my space, then. So we got 24, 28, 32, 36. Reading this wrong? 24, 28, 36, ah, 36, 40. Yeah, my bad. It's late. But why do I have you? Like, what are you? I don't really want to use any of these. These are death trap. Except for fighting other subs, I guess. Um, we're going to go ahead and go with this right now, but we are going to load... These. I guess we'll keep one of the uh, red ones here, even though I'm not really sure what the hell they are. Uh, the torpedo model, I guess. All right, so cast off, anchors away. Off to Trondheim we go. We're up in Merman's gear right now. Now, it's a lot harder playing from the uh, Russian perspective. There's so many planes. Always feels like uh, there's like more NATO planes right now than there was when I was trying to play. Like, you know, oh, there I think we got detected, so they came out to get us. All right, we have a new sonar contact bearing one one five degrees, designate zero one. Our depth fifty feet. Our heading one eight seven. So they're going to be off to our port side, and uh, our speed is five knots. Well, conditions overcast, light breeze, very weak surface duct, very weak thermal air at one hundred ninety six feet. Because we're going slow. We're gonna go ahead and close to ten thousand. Remember, they are one eight seven, or they are one one five. And there's three of them with a helicopter on top of me. Lovely. All right, let's try and get some classifications going here before we die a horrible death. Pretty much as soon as we start. Now, they do use Russian models. Tarawa, that's not a Tarawa, no. It's an Essex. Con sonar, Sierra 2 is and there's a fucking torpedo behind us already. God damn, boy. Hopefully that's just going to keep going in a circle back there. Jesus. All right. Let's check out Sierra 1. See what you is. You also appear to be in Essex. Oh, it never changed. Okay. Does that look spot on? Knox? So it looks like two Nox uh, frigates and a uh, really good prize. That is truly a uh, carrier. A 
appear to be coming like straight towards me too. Really good. I just wish I knew what this red one was. That Nox is definitely my target. Or not the Nox, the uh, Essex. Basically, like a marine amphibious ship or something, or like a helicopter carrier, but it's modeled on the... Like, they just use the Kuznetsov or whatever the hell it is model. Yeah, I'm Can do it. You can do it. Detect him, come on. But it sucks that, like, the US, or I should say NATO, um, just brings so many helicopters. 76% still, Jesus. 75, that went down. Interesting. I only got 81 decibels. I think it's probably because we're just below that surface layer. Let's go up a little bit. Is that 196? We'll go up a little bit. Get up above her. Given that the... <laughs> there we go. That's what it was. I'm just 74%. That's completely ridiculous. One seven seven one nine six. All right, good. One seven six. So we've already detected the Nox. Out of luck. See, they just use one of the uh, Russian ones. I think it's like a Kara or something. Maybe even an Udaloy. I don't know. It's something. Vito's missiles, guns, seaweed. Okay, we're gonna put you here. I do like that these torpedoes can actually go in like a straight surge pattern. Okay, we're up to 80% on the Essex. 61 on the 64, 83. Just gonna go ahead and launch. Oh yeah, here I'll show you the Essex really quick. There we go. I'm not sure. No, it's not the Kuznetsov. It is just like a helicopter carrier. Can't remember what it was. Like the Moskva, uh, I think, is what it was. Uh, don't think it has any guns. Guns and Sivas. Okay, so it does. Okay, so that's gonna launch from left. Report. This one's gonna launch from starboard. Go ahead. And shoot two five. Hi, sir. Con sonar. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. God Bear damn it. Zero. Eight. Shoot two eight. Hi, sir. Just gonna get some torpedoes in the water here. Gun fire control, we've lost the wire. Of course we have. Oh well, at least we can reload. Reload a harp. Nah, it's not bothered with harp. Let's try one of these. Uh. Ah, keep that. Moss. So the torpedo had homed in on the moss for a brief second there. Moss is the white one. It's going off on its own. 
I believe we've got torpedoes that are about ready to activate now. Man, I wish these helicopters would fuck off. Really do. Well, let's put some distance in between us and the torpedo that time. Oh shit. Passing 600 feet. Con sonar no longer cavitating. Con sonar noise maker. Excellent. Zero, nine, zero. Wow, he was like right on top of us. Holy shit. I did not realize he was that close. Oh shit, there's the other one too. Go ahead and get close to that moth or the uh, carrier, helicopter carrier. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra three, last bearing one. Five. Yeah, you could fuck right off with that. Make turns four, five. All right, nine. so he's going down. Good hit. Snox is already gone. And this boy is running. 31 knots. Let's go sandwich herself between the two wrecks here. Let's go ahead. Fire one. Jeez, good time on those torpedoes, too. 22 minutes. Jeez. Great. Go ahead and do some time compression. Just doing a little bit of time compression here. So when this activates, it's going to go shallow. It's going to go in a straight line for a search pattern, and its sensor is passive. Jeez, he's going 32 knots. He's almost like outrunning that thing, which I think is a bit much given that it's a fucking carrier. There we go. We're gonna guide it right up his ass. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. All right. We're gonna go ahead and cut the wire. So we're gonna go 35 knots. We change the pattern on the uh and we can just like circle though. That kinda sucks. Oh we could send it shallow or deep. I like that. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra two. Last bearing one, three, three, contact faded. Mm-hmm. Probably gonna take a couple torpedoes to sink that guy. So that looked like a hit, even though we didn't get to see him. I'm hoping it was in the engine room, so it slowed him down. We're going to head down towards his last known position. And we're boogieing. We're going 35 knots, so... Shouldn't have any trouble catching up to him. I knew what was so special about these torpedoes.
So we got some time compression going right now. And it kind of sucks me only have like a weak layer down here, like very weak layer. We'll try one of these red ones. Go oh, ten knots. Okay, so this one has no weapon sensor other than passive. You can change the search pattern. And it can only go shallow. I wonder if these are like anti ship torpedoes. And the other ones are just like general torpedoes or something. What the fuck? No way. No fucking way. That is cheaty if that is what that is. We're going to come up to Periscope, actually. Let's actually do it this way. There's no way in hell, like... Seventy eight <laughs> seventy eight thousand yards, I call bullshit on that. Let's do some time compression. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Of course we are. Scope up. Go have a look. What would that be? About one thirty? Ninety. Yeah, I knew he wasn't that much farther away. Jeez. The fuck is he? No, he's not 180. He's back over here somewhere. Off. Find this very interesting. Much as I hate to, let's pop our radar. Okay, hey, that updated him even more. Why the fuck? Where is he? Alright, he's like a magical stealth uh, boat here. Pretty much directly in front of us. It says he's about 28 kilometers. Jesus. Uh, do we want to do this? No, we don't. What we want to do is all three down. Want to go to. 600 feet. Make depth six, zero. 
I'm gonna go 35 knots. He's going 26 knots. Alright, let's get back down below that layer, because we know that having our radar up, there's gonna be some helicopters or some shit coming towards us. So time compression. Uh, it's so nice being able to just... Why the fuck are we cavitating? 650. Mm-hmm. Because of course there is. He's making a run back into shore. That's what he's doing. So it's going to keep getting shallower and shallower. I'm hoping it'll actually go down those last four feet. Cons less than 50 feet below the keel. 625 feet. Lovely. Periscope depth. See how quick we can get there. And we're going to slow it down to five knots. This asshole has to be close. Raise the ESM mast. Detection threshold is way down. That's good. Raise the radar mast. Cons maneuvering, making turns for five knots. All right, we got this guy again, I think. We're still pretty far away from him, though. Jesus. Downscope, lower the ESM mast. Lower the radar mast. Make turns for con sonar. We are cavitating. Con sonar, lost contact. Master two, last bearing one, three, five. Contact. Cons maneuvering. Make All right. Going 35 knots again. I'm gonna try and catch up to this guy. Got it in some time compression. Do apologize for how long this is taken. Let's go ahead and this. Search, narrow, depth, ooh, top down attack. Make turns for one, zero, knots, maneuver. Make turns, con sonar, no longer cavitating. All right, let's see what we can do here. We will get this guy. Night vision. So we're never going to gain on him, I don't think. He's a big boy. Well, you know what? Let's just fucking do this.
There, let's see if those get anything. And hopefully we're just far enough away that he's not going to see those. There he is up here. He might not have actually been that far away. Which is really going to suck when those fly over him. Now I've got these set into uh, top-down attack. So they should climb here. If not, we're definitely going to get some cool Sea Wiz uh, performances. Wow. Here goes the Sea Wiz. Those didn't make it. Great. But hey, the only thing we did do is succeed in turning them around. <laughs> Actually, put you on top down. I think he's a lot closer than that's letting on. Go to periscope. Let's go to night vision. Oh, he's still way the fuck away. His missiles are just super fast. Kind of nice. Yeah, he'd be over around this area. We're just going to keep radar up for a few seconds. There he is. I'm actually going to lock this time. And the missile's just going to burst into flames. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> oh, we can see where he's at. There he is. Con, torpedo room two, seven ready. Go ahead and launch one of these bad boys. Yeah, like right down here. They're dumb fire. They go like quicker or something. Straight. on these ones. We'll keep our wire guided ones ready. Let's raise our ESM mass, see what we're at for detection. We're actually going to lower everything right now. Really anxious to get this guy. I'm shocked he's still doing 26 after hitting the engine room. Kind of uh, discouraging. Make turns. Make turns four, five, not maneuvering eye. They don't even have any data for these torpedoes, right? Like, no clue. Con, torpedo room two, seven ready. 
first going to go down is below the weak layer. Just because. And once we get below that layer, we're going to go into some time compression here. Okay, we're at 171, layer's at 196. Let's just go sit like right in the layer. Let's go do some time compression. Let's leave. Lost track on both of those torpedoes. I really hope they didn't blow up. No, they didn't blow up, they're still going. There goes one. Peace. That one like activated just in time, I think. Oh shit, they're both coming after. Nice. Finally, our hunt is over. Oh, wow, yeah, it broke. I <laughs> got him. I wonder if our other one's coming for him. Yep. There we go. Finally got him. Took a little bit, and I do apologize for how long it took. But there he goes. Let's capital ship down, boys. The torpedo. There it goes. Ha <laughs> ha. Damage control, no damage, excellent weapons, bunch of torpedoes, uh, three mosses, well, countermeasures. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're good. I think we're good. What do you guys think? Let's go check on our actual countermeasures here. Eblo, set depth. We got 18 decoys. All right, so we're going to leave combat. Nox, Nox, and Essex late sunk. Well done. Excellent results, sir. This is not your mission objective. Yeah, we know. So, oh, what is this? Order of Ushakov, Commander King Swat. Presidium of the Supreme Soviet expresses his heartfelt congratulations. It takes great pleasure in awarding the Order of Ushakov. Uh, Commander King Swat was cited for extraordinary heroism in action against the enemies of the Soviet Union on 27th December 1984. His unwavering resolve at self sacrificing devotion to duty in the face of death are worthy of the highest emulation. Nice. So we're just going to pause that really quick. And uh, I'm going to end this video here. Then we're going to stay here. I think that's actually our convoy because it said convoy route B, I think. So that was a convoy coming in from North America to reinforce Trondheim. So we're just going to chill here for a bit. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, let me know what you think of the Russian series so far. And if you want to keep going, I'll probably do like, a couple of videos and see how it goes. Um, Definitely an uphill battle. I will give them that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.